Praise the Lord, my dear friends. We are on the fourth Sunday of Advent. And today, in the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 to 45, we see the incident of our Blessed Mother visiting her cousin Elizabeth. And this actually follows soon after the Annunciation account. During the Annunciation, our Blessed Mother accepted the Word of God into her. She said, Let it be done according to your word. She accepted the will of God. And something that we need to be aware that when a person accepts the word of God into herself or himself, he or she will begin to experience a kind of internal direction, a kind of voice from within directing him or her regarding what he or she should do. And that is what we hear in the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21. When you turn to the right or to the left, you will hear a voice speaking to you, this is the way, walk on it. Does it mean that someone will come and speak to us in person? Need not be. But accepting of the word of God into us, pondering on the word of God constantly, etc. will begin to tune our attention to the way that the Lord wants us to take in our life. And that is why once our Blessed Mother accepted the word of God into her, she could not but to empty herself and to offer her selfless sacrifice to her cousin Elizabeth who was pregnant. And interestingly, the Annunciation account ends by the acceptance of our Blessed Mother of the will of God. But then just before that, the angel tells her nothing is impossible with God. Of course, the angel spoke that to say that the almighty and powerful God can actually come and be born through her. So nothing is impossible with God. Now, that self-emptying which is possible for God, which our Blessed Mother accepted into her own body, becomes her own model of self-emptying. She accepts into her a God who empties himself and takes the form of a human being. And imitating that wonderful example, she empties herself and goes out in service to her cousin Elizabeth. So here, our Blessed Mother accepts the will of God. She gives her body for the word of God to take flesh and to come into this world. And after accepting that, how does she prepare herself like any pregnant woman prepares herself by taking care of her diet the way she goes about and the kind of works that she does, etc. Here, our Blessed Mother, after accepting Word of God into herself, begins to prepare herself by emptying herself more and more and giving herself in selfless sacrifice. And that is something that we can also be very certain of. If we want to welcome Jesus into our own heart, if we want to let the Word of God grow within ourselves, we too need to prepare ourselves by giving ourselves out to others in selfless sacrifice. Here, our Blessed Mother accepted the will of God. We all want to accept God's will in our life, right? Because we know that God's plan for us is the best. And we believe what we read in Jeremiah that God has a plan for us. And that plan is for our prosperity and not for destruction. But how do we know what exactly is God's plan for us? One way in which we can allow God's plan to take shape in our own personal life is by giving ourselves to others more and more in selfless sacrifice like our Blessed Mother. So when we say that we all want to do God's will, we may ask ourselves, are we really living a life according to the will of God? We may say that we are good Christians, we are good Catholics, we go to the church regularly, we follow the practices of piety that are recommended for us and so on. Do all these together make us doers of God's will? Yeah, all these can actually help us to become a person according to the plan of God. But following these recommended activities and practices of piety alone may not make us holy or committed Christians. We all need to ask ourselves, are we really doing God's will? As a priest, I may need to ask myself, am I doing God's will? Maybe as a married person, as a father, mother, as a student, as a teacher, nurse, whatever, we need to ask ourselves, 
are we following god's will in the second reading from the letter to the hebrews chapter 10 verses 5 to 10 we see the author saying that you have not taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings in burnt offerings and sin offerings and you see all these sacrifices burnt offerings and sin offerings etc were done according to the law that was there existing for the israelites but it is said fulfilling of all those rules and regulations does not really please god if then what actually pleases god and that is the next sentence it is said but i have come to do your will it is doing the will of god that really pleases god so it becomes so vital for us to inquire seek and find out what is god's will for us and as i said one of the ways in which we can come to know god's will for us one of the ways in which we can prepare ourselves to really uh, become that version which the lord has planned for us is by offering ourselves in self giving self sacrifice as a father as a mother as a child we can offer ourselves to our own families as a teacher can offer himself or herself to the students in self sacrificing spirit but at times when we really try to sacrifice ourselves we notice that things are not very easy we have to give up a lot of entertainment or enjoyments that we would have had otherwise sometimes we might feel that it's really not possible for us to keep on making those sacrifices and that is where we need to understand what the angel told our blessed mother nothing is impossible with god whatever may be the expectation whatever may be the responsibilities that we have because of the particular stage of life that we are it is possible to fulfill all of them according to the will of god if god is with us that is why nothing is impossible with god and it was with that conviction that our blessed mother went out in service to her cousin elizabeth and sometimes we might also feel that we are so small we are so little that our fulfilling of the responsibilities may not make much difference in the life of others because we may not matter much and so on but look at the first reading the first reading taken from the book of mika chapter 5 verses 2 to 5 speaks about bethlehem and it is said o bethlehem of ephrata who is one of the little ones among the clans of juda from you shall come the one who is to rule my people israel see however small we are however insignificant we may think we are when we are willing to follow what god's will in our personal life god can work wonderful things through us it is not that just that god can do wonderful things in us god can do wonderful things through us in the life of others and after all nothing is impossible with god so my dear friends let us also look for ways and means in which we can really do the selfless sacrifice ways and means in which we can really empty ourselves more and more in whatever stage of life we are the more we empty ourselves the more we will be open to the plan that the lord has for us but then how can we have this self emptying through little activities maybe bearing with the weaknesses of our friends and relatives forgiving them in case they have offended us offering our help even when we are not really requested for and so on. we can all find out different ways and means in which we can empty ourselves more and more may god bless each one of us